Hi students, exercise 3.3, question number 3. Question is, find the GCD of each pair of the following polynomials. For this question, we have two polynomial and the LCM. Using this three given condition and find out the value of GCD. For this question, we have two subdivision. First, I will give the answer for the first question. First, we need to take and write the given two polynomials are f of x and g of x. Let f of x equal to first given polynomial, g of x equal to second polynomial. And take and write the LCM value also. For this question, we need to find out the value of GCD. Already we know the GCD formula using LCM and uh, two polynomial that is f of x into g of x divided by LCM value. Okay. Now see the question and write f of x and g of x in the denominator LCM. So f of x is 12 x power 4 minus minus x cube. g of x next value is g of x. See the question and write 8 into x power 4 minus 3 x power 3 plus 2 x square. Okay. Next LCM value. That is 24 into x cube into x minus 1 into x minus 2. Now we, now we need to cancel the common factor. Here the common factors are 1 12 is 12, 2 12 is 24. After the number 8 and 2, 1 2 is 2, 4 2 is 8. Now we need to take and write the remaining terms. Okay, that is uh, in the numerator the remaining terms are 4 after this 2 bracket value in the denominator x cube and 2 bracket value. That is equal to the remaining term. Okay, next for this bracket we have one common factor that is x cube. Let us take and write out of the bracket. Okay. Then 4 into common factor is x cube. Then the remaining in the bracket is that x power 4 meaning is what? x multiplied by 4 times. But we are taken 3 times outside. So the remaining is what? 1 time x minus x cube is meaning is what? x multiplied by 3 times. But we already taken 3 times out of the bracket. So the remaining is 1. Okay. Similarly, in this bracket, we have the common factor is x square. Then we take out of the bracket, then the remaining is, it is 4 times multiplied by uh, x. So, the remaining is 2 times. Okay. So, x power 2 minus number is 3. x power 3 meaning is, x is multiplied by 3 times, but already taken x square. That is 2 times outside. So, what is the remaining? 1 time plus the number is 2 and x square already taken. So, the remaining is x square minus 3x plus 2. Now, see the denominator and write x cube x minus 1 x minus 2. Now, we can cancel the common factor x minus 1 x minus 1 x cube x cube. Uh, see any other common factor? No. So, we can write the remaining term for x square into x square minus 3x plus 2 divided by x minus 2. Okay. In the numerator, this bracket value is a quadratic equation. Quadratic equation is what? x square term, x term and constant term. It is a quadratic equation. So, factorize this polynomial. Okay. Yeah. How to find out the factors? Product of the factor and sum of the factor you need. Okay. So, first we can write the product of the factor. What is the product of the factor? Coefficient of x square into constant term. Multiply the two numbers, then we get 2. Okay, it is product of the factor. The sum of the factor is coefficient of x. Here, what is the value? Minus 3. Then, we need two possible factors. That multiplication is 2 and the addition is minus 3. Then the factors are minus 2 and minus 1. Okay. The product of the two number is 2 and sum of the two number is minus 3. So, the numerator is 4x square. That is the first term after write these factors. That is 
x minus 2 into x minus 1. The denominator is x minus 2. Now we can cancel the common factor x minus 2, x minus 2. Then the remaining terms are 4x square into x minus 1. It is the required GCD of this problem. Okay, yeah. Now we can go to the second subdivision. Here also first we need to write the given polynomials are f of x and g of x. I have to see the question and write the uh, what value is given in the question. Given question f of x equal to x cube plus y square g of x equal to x power 4 plus x square y square plus y power 4 LCM equal to this value. Okay. Uh, first we can write the formula gcd equal to f of x into g of x divided by LCM. See the question and write the given three values that is x cube plus y cube. This is f of x. Next g of x is x power 4 plus x square y square plus y power 4 divided by LCM value is x power 3 plus y power 3 into x square plus xy plus y square. First we need to cancel the common factor x cube plus y cube numerator also x cube plus y cube cancel the two terms ok. Now the remaining terms are x power 4 plus x square y square plus y power 4 divided by x square plus xy plus y square. The numerator is written as x square the whole square since 2 to are 4 ok plus x square y square plus y power 4 is written as y square the whole square divided by the denominator is x square plus xy plus y square. The numerator is in the form of a square. This value is a so a square plus a b it is a it is b ok a b plus b square b is what y square so it is b square a square plus a b plus b square it is the expansion of a plus b the whole square but here the number 2 is missed ok a plus b the whole square formula is what a square plus 2 a b plus b square now we need the number 2 here so we can add the same number then it will be changes into the form of a plus b the whole square ok then x square the whole square plus x square y square we need 2 so add the same term so x square plus y square sorry x square into y square if you add any extra number we should subtract so x square y square ok yeah? plus the last term is y square the whole square divided by the denominator is x square plus xy plus y square. Now see these two terms these two terms x square y square plus x square y square two times the same term. So first term is no change x square the whole square plus it is 2 into x square y square ok yeah not this term this term x square y square plus x square y square. 2 times the same term. So, 2 into x square y square. The remaining term is minus x square y square plus y square the whole square divided by x square plus xy plus y square. Okay. Now, combine the three terms then we get the formula. What is the formula? a square plus 2ab plus b square. So, it is a plus b the whole square that is x square. It is a and it is b. So, x square plus y square the whole square minus x square y square divided by denominator is x square plus xy plus y square. If you could calculate this in your mind then you skip this three steps and directly come to this line ok yeah. This step can be written by omitting all these steps ok. Now I will show how to do it. This can be simplified as x square plus y square the whole square minus x square y square. 
okay the denominator is x square plus xy plus y square the numerator is x square plus y square the whole square minus x square y square is written as xy the whole square divided by x square plus xy plus y square okay it is equal to the numerator is in the form of a square minus b square already we know the formula a square minus b square equal to a minus b into a plus b okay here a equal to x square plus y square okay yeah. b equal to x y it is the form of a square this one is in the form of b square so here a equal to yes x square plus y square b equal to x y okay yeah. then the numerator is changes into a minus b that is a is what x square plus y square a minus b minus b is what x y into a plus b that is x square plus y square plus x y divided by denominator that is x square plus x y plus y square now we need to cancel the common factor that is x square plus y square plus x y in the numerator also x square plus y square plus x y term so we can cancel the common factors then the remaining is x square plus y square minus x y it is the required answer for this question